Hi Aquarius, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Aquarius, a little disclaimer today, <laughs> just a little one, that I'm a little under the weather. So my voice is a little cracky today. If you hear some, some squeaking and some, <laughs> some squeaking and some squawking, don't worry everything's fine. I sound funnier than I feel. I actually feel okay now. I just sound a little bit funny. Okay. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Hello again. Welcome to your Aquarius tarot reading to another Aquarius tarot reading here at the tarot closet. Aquarius love tarot reading. Aquarius love reading. And whoa, as is very often the case at the Tarot Closet, Aquarius love messages reading. Channeled messages from your person, love messages from their higher self. Aquarius, I'm channeling for you in October 2023. And of course, you could be here in real time in October, but you can also be here many months even years later. And the reason for that is all readings are timeless. This is a faded connection, Aquarius. You are here when you're meant to be here. It means there is a message here for you. So welcome again. I'm really glad you found your way here. I'm gonna get one last cut deck. Before I do though, look, the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Somebody can't get here fast enough to tell the truth. Isn't that interesting? Libra and Mercury energy here with the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, Libra ruled by Venus energy. You want the truth? Have you been waiting for the truth? Because they have a whole lot to say here. They're wanting to change things up. Let's see if they're coming back or not. It's really early in the reading, but they wanted to be shown. So Aquarius, all the decks that are coming in today are linked below in the description. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, all signs tarot readings. Those are all signs love tarot readings. And that playlist is called Love Tarot Messages from Your Person, I believe. Uh, very long and in-depth twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey. So feel free to check anything out below in the playlists or in the description. And yeah, if you're inspired to do so. Remember, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates and let the rest go. I would like to take this time before we begin to invite you to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. And it goes without saying, thank you so much for joining me today. I love you very much. I appreciate you very much. And yeah, let's get into your reading. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the Ace of Cups. Cancer. Pisces and Scorpio energy. Is somebody coming in here with an offer? It sure looks like it. What is in that cup? I mean, we can see it's a heart. And this is around the love and the friendship. It's a very emotional energy. It can be proposal energy, you know, new beginnings. That can mean really big proposals. That's far too many. That can mean marriage proposals. It's not going to be that that's the case for everybody. It's the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is a connection that is having some difficulties, you know. The Nine of Pentacles is Virgo and Mercury energy. And, you know, it's... Were you getting, were you already in a long-term connection? I think a lot of you were, or you were working towards something. You know, it's one pentacle shy of the 10 of pentacles here. And there's just kind of, I want to say, for lack of a better word, yeah, setback energy. And it's also coming here down. These are also yours. And so is that with the three of pentacles in reverse. This is Mars and Capricorn energy. Yeah, so this is not communicating, not being on the same page. The thing about the Three of Pentacles is it's a teamwork energy. You know, it's collaborative. It's if you want to go, if you want to get to that next pentacle or go back there, whatever the case may be. And look, there is a dove here landing on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the seventh pentacle. Interesting. 
eight, and then the ninth pentacle is in a cauldron. Huh. If you want to get to that place or go back to that place, you know, or even just where you were, something happened here, obviously, everybody wasn't on the same page or giving in the same way. Bringing in, you know, some six of pentacles in reverse energy, some selfish energy, some one-sided energy. One could say breadcrumbing, but the thing is, is if you're, you need everybody here to build this tapestry, to build this connection, this relationship. The pentacles, you know, they're the slowest moving. It's the earth energy. It's divine, divine timing, communication and growth. So something here possibly with the timing, but definitely not moving forward. You know, there's, it's not going anywhere right now. And for the most part, this is a no contact, no communication and or in separation reading. But we saw the Knight of Swords and we saw the Queen of Swords. And now we're seeing the Ace of Cups. So is what your person, whoa, yeah, wanting, that's your energy, Aquarius. You're definitely on their mind. This is where their energy is the strongest. Is what they're wanting to bring in. I could swear that just blinked. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing things here. For... They're wanting to, we saw that with the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, could it be that what they're bringing in in this cup is the truth? But it's a lot more than the truth because they're coming in really fast and they want to change things. So you're on their mind. It's your energy. It's the star card. It's Aquarius energy and it's Uranus energy. Look, they're looking up at that star, still harnessed to it. That's wishful energy. You know, it's wishing on a star energy. It's Nine of Cups energy. It's making a wish energy. It's having hope still. And are they getting this clarity? I think so. They're right underneath the star and it's it's taken over. They're illuminated here by the star energy and looking up very hopeful, have it wrapped almost like, you know, a child with a balloon, like they don't want to lose it. They've lassoed the star. That is a way to hold on to hope. This is a wish. So they're coming back in. Is this someone that you know coming back in or is this someone you're not expecting? This is where your person's energy is the strongest, Aquarius. Your specific person, the person you're here for, maybe it's somebody, again, that you're not expecting. So the Eight of Wands is in reverse. It's coming below the Ace of Cups and I just need to fix my sweater again. And it's catty corner here to the Nine of Pentacles. So I'm wondering for some of you, this is Mercury and Sagittarius energy. And it can be around, you know, somebody coming with something to say. You know, and we saw that in the Nine of Swords. And it can't even be in a message. Mercury is, of course, it's the planet of the mind. So it's also the planet of communication. And it can be connected with reading and writing. So it can be that there's a message that you've been waiting for, or one they're just trying to send here, having trouble sending. You know, it's in reverse. It's minor arcana, so it's a day-to-day -day energy. I'm wondering if this is a energy, I want to say, of spinning, and that, that is, means also the upright energy, because we see them really wanting to communicate some honesty with you, but they are having trouble. You know, eight is an eight, even in reverse the act of, it's an action number, it's accomplishing something. And you know, there's a lot of healing energy around eight, a lot of Gaia energy. And of course, that's also an infinity symbol on the side. And interestingly, it's connecting us with Libra energy. And that's connecting us with balancing out divine feminine and divine masculine energies in order to come from a place of, of balance you know, and fairness and truth and an energy of working things out. And yeah, everything, you know, a lot of that Libra energy here and that in this, in this eight of wands, you know, coming through. So I feel like they're working on a way to communicate, whether it's that message. Yeah. So look what's here though, below in the partnership placement. This is not surprising because the nine of pentacles is telling us that, you know, there are, setback. So lack of communication, lack of growth movement for sure. I mean, we can see that not everybody has been on the same page, kind of continuing and getting things to where they want to be. And they're acknowledging that 
I feel, and that's why they're coming in with the truth, with the Ace of Cups. They might be having a little trouble here. You know, it's it's kind of an energy of, I want to say delays, you know. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a, um, apprentice version of the chariot in many ways and it's they're just having it's they're they're having trouble writing it or communicating but we see that they really want to and here in the partnership placement is also the eight of pentacles so this is the thing i, I feel like they're really trying to perfect some kind of message here or or say something say it in the right way because this is telling us exactly what we know already that happened here that that there needs to be it needs to be, I don't know, fixed is the right word, but worked out. There's, it needs to get worked out. Something needs to get worked out here, something. I mean, the connection, what's going on? They are having trouble with the message, look. The Six of Wands also revealing itself in reverse. This is Jupiter and Leo energy. And Jupiter is the planet of prosperity, you know, expansion, moving forward, wisdom and growth. And it's oftentimes, for me, connected to possibly a message, you know? And it's around coming out of some challenges, in, which are in the Five of Wands. So they're still going through, there's still a reason here. There's some reason why they're, they're delayed. Um, but this is our only major arcana here on the table thus far, and it's where their energy is the strongest. They haven't let anything go here. That's the interesting thing. They're holding that star wrapped around, making sure it's going nowhere. And is it also being, I think they also have it wrapped around a log here, which is what they're sitting on, you know, and all the star energy, of course, around in the sky and around the person. And of course, that's, you know, the divine up there and that's the stars aligning and it's a nocturnal energy, too, of somebody longing, but they're having trouble writing a message. And it wanted to be bottoms up. That's what it does. Sometimes it just does it, and I don't even feel like I have any say in it. It's the Page of Cups. Yeah. Here's the thing about the Page of Cups. You know, it's messenger, and, you know, it's, it's the energy of it's the emotions. It's the love here. But it can be, you know... Somebody who's just not really sure how to come it can be like a student energy, you know, kind of figuring it out. And we can see that there's some delays here. So I feel like they're just trying to work out what to say. Maybe you're not even going to be expecting it. Look, pigs, pigs are flying. <laughs> it's like, um, who's here? Who is that up here? The pig is flying above the bowl. You know, it's unexpected energy coming through for me. Okay, so they wanted to come through, but I want to keep channeling. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the car, a hoe, or keep, I should say, I don't feel a bottoms-up reading. But sometimes, like, some cards just insist on coming through. So it's the Eight of Cups in the upright here, here with the Page of Cups. So this is somebody, obviously, who left the connection the queen of wands the six of cups okay so is this somebody maybe who ghosted you it could be that they also just kind of pulled away you know but it's pretty strong and maybe that's why look this little piggy <laughs> sounds funny but it's connecting here with this eight of cups is this for some of you you just saying i'm done maybe that message came through. I don't think that's going to be for everyone, but it did come through. I will say, um, I just think this is going to be surprising to you because it's maybe, yeah, when pigs fly, <laughs> I can't get that out of my head. But you see this confident energy here. Um, almost the Queen of Wands is actually, while well, she has fire in her hand and she's holding a wand, that's the inspired action. That's like, I'm going to make this happen energy. This is the wishful energy, and this is the making it happen energy. And the Page of Cups is trying to figure it out because they also know what's going, what they did here. It's the Eight of Cups. It's the Eight of Cups, you know? That's Saturn and Pisces energy. And yeah, I mean, Saturn is the planet of restriction. There can be some obstacles around that. 
some lessons, you know? So, what exactly? I, I need to come back to the Eight of Cups because I'm not, I feel like I'm not getting a, a clear picture on that today. The Six of Cups, um, yeah, this is a really nostalgic energy, thinking a lot about you, which we know they're doing. There's a lot of wishing going on here, thinking about when. I feel like not it. If I'm hearing a win, they're going to either see or talk to you. For me, this is sending that message. This isn't lost on me. These are yours, some of these. This it can be that some of you have known your person Aquarius since childhood, you know, a really long time. It can also just feel that way. And it does come through the soul connection energy. If you're on a twin flame journey, soulmate energy, it's somebody that you just feel like they get you. You get them, you might say, that hey, that's my person. Just a connection, whether it's that or you just feel like it's just this undeniable connection here. So that's a really interesting place for that to be because it is a nostalgic energy, but it's also thinking about when things were easier and I want to say innocent, but easier and kind of where things are now and the time that has passed. So that's also bringing in, as you can see, the Five of Cups here because there's the sixth cup. And the five of cups is regret. So they're thinking about some of the things that they did and said that they regret. I think that might be one of them here. Is the way they left, the act, the very fact they left or how they left? You know, because it can be that, that they, it was kind of a slow, painful withdrawal or it was just a ghosting. And look, they left the bowl here just burning. They just walked away. And... This is the nostalgic energy of missing you and thinking about you and wishing, wishing here also that they did things differently because that regret is real strong, you know, and that's also for abandoning you. That's right here, that five of cups here within that six of cups, because the nostalgic energy is both positive and I don't want to say negative. It's just, it's kind of everything, you know, it's thinking about it all. At everything that happened in between, you know, and here they are now in that six cup and six is an energy of healing and restoring harmony and wanting to communicate something to you. And it's really clear and it's made this abundantly clear why this is here. And maybe there's something else coming through. But right now it's really clear that they regret the way that they left things. How did they leave things here? You know, just things not moving forward. Why? Is there something, another commitment? Is there something in their life that that was stopping that? Was there interference? Were they afraid of commitment? You're going to know, and we're going to get some more insight here. But this nostalgic energy here is also thinking about this nine of pentacles in reverse and these setbacks. For some of you, there may have been some jealousy involved. I don't know where that's coming into play for some of you, but it's here. It can even be that there is somebody that was really putting a lot of time into money and work, into work and is having regrets because they, yeah, they maybe chose that over you. That won't be for everybody, but it is coming through for somebody. And this is been calling my name. It's the 10 of cups here. Whoa, right here with the ace of cups. So what are they bringing in? Well, it's the Ten of Cups. This is Mars and Pisces energy. So this is a very beautiful energy of coming together. Of It's a lot for me. And these are yours too. We're going to look at them in a moment. It's really connecting strongly for me today with the Star energy and the Six of Cups. Because there is a really strong wish energy going on here. A really nostalgic energy of wishing things could be different having regret for how some things went, still having hope for the future, hoping for the future, which is also here. And those rainbows are bringing in all that hope. It's really very, very clear. Um, here on an easy, look at the hammock is connecting all the way. Where is that? You know, here's the divine. It's connecting here all the way up with the divine. The hammock is leading up there, this divine connection. The new cycle, you know, ending the, the conflicting energy, ending the no, the, the no contact, no communication or, and or in separation, which we saw that in the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, that they really have a lot they want to say.
for whatever reason yet unknown, maybe it's never going to be known, but here today, they're having trouble with that because we see that they want to. There's a very, a, like I said, a real dreamy energy here today of what happened, regrets, and what could still be. So for some of you, maybe you were in this ton of cups and building a life together, building a family together. What does that mean for you? It doesn't always mean, you know, <laughs> children. It can for some of you, but that's not going to be the case for everybody. Building a relationship in general. And that can mean bringing in life. It can mean blending families. It can be introducing families. Just building a life together. You know, sitting here on this hope, hopeful rainbow connecting to the divine and all this emotional energy. Look, I mean, it's just such a beautiful energy here. And again, it's, it's hope for that still. And for some of you, it's coming back into that. And for some of you, it's just going there in the first place. And so this, they're really having a lot of regret, a lot of nostalgia and still carrying some hope here. And I feel trying to get some courage literally to write and get what they want because it's in reverse. So they haven't overcome whatever challenges I want to say within themselves or an obstacles within themselves or externally. What is it? Because that's what they're trying to get through to get to this energy, this victorious energy, this wand on fire, which is coming in here. Look at me. Look, you know, the spotlight is on. The wand is burning. It's a Victory wreath, you know, it's also looking a lot like a reunion wreath and those are evergreen leaves. They don't change color You know, it's it's an energy that I feel is just ongoing here between the two of you between this person here today They're wanting to get to this energy for me. That's really communication and a message and we see that as just not what's happening right now so they, they, again, they can be struggling with writing a message or simply coming because we know that they really, really want to. And that this is either going back into it or going there in the first place. And they're coming here with that cup. You see that when they get this courage. So is that cup to come here and start this again or just go here for some of you? Yeah. The Five of Pentacles are really feeling this loss. This is... A card of loss it's mercury and taurus energy you know but i don't think that i think everybody is here but the thing with your person is there's going to come a time here and we're going to move forward I and mean, we're going to bring in some more and bring in another deck that they're going to realize that the key is right there to open the door you know it's right there to open the door and not worry about it so much and staying in, and not talking and, and separation is not going to solve anything regardless of the direction that you're going to go. This is conflicting energy, but it's also about change and change will happen if somebody takes this key and opens the door and comes out of here. And that's both for you, for those of you in an energy of feeling low, you know, that to come out of that. So I see what's been going on here. And it's also your person, you know, coming up here and opening that key because what's behind the door? You know, you got to see what's behind that door. It has to be better than this, you know, just sitting here and feeling really sad and feeling this loss and worrying, worrying and it affecting how you handle your entire life when there's the key to get over there. And I want to see what this tattoo is, but my eyes are not that good. Maybe they're, they're good for you. Um, but I have this. Try not to laugh. It's my magnifying glass and I want to see. Okay. It doesn't look like it's really an actual tattoo, but is there something written here? Oh. P E Q. Am I imagining that? What the heck? There's something here. It's like, okay, that's just, I guess, dirt from being in here, you know, on the ground. It's the keys right here. So that's the other thing. They're kind of holding themselves back. Okay. And this was just coming right out. It's queen of pentacles. I actually want to talk about that. And these are coming out. We need to look at those, the hierophant, 
Yeah, so this is a card of commitments. It can be marriage. You know, it's commitments to what? A person, work, cultural, culture, culture, religion, family, a lifestyle. And it's a really long-term energy. It's a long-term commitment. It's divine masculine energy. It's Taurus energy. And yeah, it's, well, it's both this connection, but it's telling us that there is something here for some of you that is. Maybe some third party interference or just some third party something, you know, and it can be actual things or people that are interfering, but it can also be just somebody's habits or lifestyles or beliefs. Um, what they, something that they're having a hard time changing here that has affected this. They haven't, the wishful energy is really strong and the nostalgic energy and the regret is really, really strong. And I feel like this is what, yeah, there's a feeling of, there is a really strong feeling of loss. It's four of pentacles in reverse energy for me. It's this feeling of, it's also um, the ace of cups really in reverse, you know? Of did I just totally blow this? So this is yours. And I want to take these because they're yours as well. Okay. Yeah. That's not surprising. And I'll, I'll show you what that is in just a moment. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So the Hierophant is going here today. By the way, that's the other thing about this is it's... And this is pretty intense right here, by the way. It's an energy, too, of, of it being kind of in trouble. Do you know what I mean? Needing some help around that. So look what's coming in with the Magician in reverse, the Three of Swords, and the Tower card. So this is literally the unfulfilled potential here because there is the breakup, the heartbreak energy, the loss. For some of you, again, it's really strong that it's a legal connection. And it can be that there was some arguing that went on here. You know, there, there may have been, for some of you, a tower moment. You know, the, the squirrel is going around and gathering up the acorns, you know, probably more than they need. They're, they're always thinking ahead, though, the positives. Let's talk about that. They like to, they go around and they're thinking ahead, you know. And, but they can get a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit greedy. But in any case, you know, look that their tree, their house is, is coming down here with the lightning, which is creating fire, which is a destroyer. But it is also a life giver. And when the fire has settled, you know, the ground is fertile again and there's a chance for a new beginning. And we see the magician in reverse. So you think, well, where is that? And you can see it here. For me, this is a lot of the energy of the unfulfilled potential. It's not using that energy. So it's somebody who wasn't, you know, taking it any further for whatever reason is what, what internal or external reason is that? Because they regret it. It hasn't been fulfilled the potential. You can literally see it here in the three of swords, the loss and the no, sadness. I just looked up and I don't know where that ended. That drives me crazy when that happens. So I'm just gonna backtrack a little just in case that it's pretty intense what came through here. The Magician in Reverse, Gemini, Virgo energy, Mercury energy. And it's the lack of, of your person, I want to say, acting on things. It's not being focused. It's not going for maybe what you talked about and also for not, for not going for what they wanted. I want to put this here because... I'm realizing it as I send this message to you. That's a lot of the regret in these five cups within the six of cups here. They really regret, they really regret not, for some reason, something internal, external, what was that, that or is that, that's been holding them back. They regret not going for what they want because you can see what they want. So that's what that is and leaving instead in this heartbreak that went on. Look at this here. You know, it's all coming together, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to get everything here. And the tower card, <laughs> I just talked about the squirrel, and the fact that this acorn st here is, still has a chance to become another tree, despite this being burned, probably knocked down completely. You also see the butterflies, the transformational energy moving away, some of them 
might be going toward it. Some of them are getting away. But this is a lot about the truth. And this is a lot about the truth and getting to the root of the issues. And it's all coming here, connecting with what happened and how they left. And maybe why there's a little bit of fear here and coming back. But a lot of why there's a lot of regret that's going on here in the Six of Cups energy. Because it's the five here for how they handled things. And they are, they're still a little, they're still having trouble. I feel coming and writing this message. Or maybe even for some of you coming and knocking on the door. And by the way, that wasn't lost on me. Here's the pentacle. So that, and this is, this is yours. But before we get it, here's the pentacle. So there's the nine of pentacles. And this is your partnership placement. It was one of your earlier cards. The Virgo and Mercury energy. Also connecting us in many ways with the magician. And this is... Well, it's the setbacks here. So if it's somebody who was working too much or was jealous or had other commitments that took priority or maybe even some interference, you know, whatever the case is, you can see because of that, it was unfulfilled and they're starting. There's a lot of judgment energy here for me today. There's realizations. Now there's the pentacle that's here, which could very well, it's a minor arcana, get this back here and put us into this long-term energy, the Ten of Pentacles, also the Ten of Cups, which we see here, and the Hierophant. So also included something in their life long-term, but also you, if that's what you're wanting or where you were or where you just want to go to. Here is that Pentacle. So that's also telling us because the Queen of Pentacles, she's kind of like the protege for me, <laughs> apprentice, protege to the Empress, you know. There's a lot of healing energy around her, and she can grow things. She's very resourceful. She can grow this pentacle, this commitment, help grow this connection, help fix this three of pentacles in reverse, this nine of pentacles in reverse. Because that's where the pentacle is and it's coming here. And there, there is a lot of wishful energy and kind of going back in time here and wishing they could do things differently and wanting to connect with you and wanting to make some wrongs into rights, I feel. It's really strong judgment energy today. They're just a little bit stuck here, and I'm not sure why. You might know why. Maybe we'll get a clearer picture, but it's something internal, and I feel external. You know, what is that here in that energy? But that's also making something work that wasn't working, and that's this pentacle. It's the earth energy. It's the foundation. It's the grounding, you know? So this is calling your name, and so is this. Okay, I like that for you. And, you know, I think this might be calling your name too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and look what's here. <laughs> it's also the strength card. Okay, so yeah, there's judgment. That's really strong energy today. There's the page of pentacles and there's temperance. So this is kind of the order that they came in. And, well, yeah, and this is a spinning energy for me because it was kind of spinning around in my hand. So for me, it's a, an energy of some denial that they had going on for a while. And it's also still some current energy of being afraid, but they're also getting a lot of clarity. This is a wake up call and making a decision about what matters to them. So this page of pentacles, I think may have <laughs> given their pentacle to the queen of pentacles because it's more, it's this page energy, just like the page of cups who is here, of just being maybe not as confident as the queen of pentacles and what to do with that. And they're still trying to balance some things out here. They're, they're doing a pretty good job. You know, it's again, it's like apprentice energy. It's like student energy. But coming here with the pentacle, you know, and also connecting to a message. Look at that. Yeah, so this is, and here's the thing. It is, there is a message here coming. They're really trying to get the strength, literally, to get this message here. This is Leo energy. And, of course, the source as well. God, goddess, the universe, the divine, what is that for you? Look, as they balance out their divine feminine and their divine masculine energies in that infinity symbol, in order to come from a place of truth, honesty. We saw that in the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, that they really have a whole lot to say. And this is, so this is a make or break it, I feel, message. 
And it can be that, yeah, it's pretty clear here that it's a message, but it's also a wanting to come back together. This is somebody who has a lot of regret. A lot of regret, they're really clear. It's like piled on, actually. It's almost piling on this Page of Cups. You know, the Page of Pentacles is just not looking and just trying to balance things out here because holding on to this pentacle, it's the commitment and it's something they were afraid of or were held back. Something got in the way of that. We see that in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. One of your first cards coming down. That page has handed it over to the Queen of Pentacles. And yeah, balancing things out in order to come here. And by the way, there is a really strong chemistry between you. And the thing about this chemistry is it's like when it's going well, you know, it's, um, well, it's overwhelming. <laughs> and so when things are in discord or there's some separation or some power, some power struggles can ensue. That's what I wanted to say, some power struggles. So that's part of maybe why there's some fear here. And it can't even be around somebody who's younger, but it doesn't mean that they are. They're very aware of how they mess this up. It's, I, I messed it up so bad energy. They know, this is judgment. You know, this is Archangel Gabriel saying, hello, the angel for messages, herald of visions, wake up. What do you want? Your life purpose, make this decision. Balance things out. Get over the, all the duality and come here for what you want. And right here with temperance, Archangel Michael. The angel for protection and strength, connecting here with the strength card to get you on the right path. That is tempering everything out. It's finding a solution. It's telling us that things are getting worked out. It's working things out. It is working things out for your highest good, the highest good of those around you and their highest good. So it's what's the best step for everybody here. That's the energy that's coming in. And that's coming in through a message and a lot of wishful energy of what more that they want. Is it just going to be, um, I want to say, communicated to you only, or is there going to be an offer? I kind of think there's an offer too, but there's definitely heavy, heavy communication coming in and fast. A lot of regret, a lot of wishful energy. Wow. Yeah, this is really clear. And it's a really fast energy, you know? It's Sagittarius. And it's a 14, of course, that's coming to a five and that's the change. And it's coming out of the conflicting energy. And look, it's the, the, the sun and the moon. It's almost looking like it's forming an infinity symbol here too. It is, I mean, it's the balance, it's what it is. It's the balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies and being able to restore harmony and balance and get everybody where they need to be. I really like this for you a lot. And that energy is super strong today. I had wanted to bring in another deck, but I'm going to I'm going to move on to channeled love messages now because it, I've already gone on a little bit long, so it obviously just wanted to be this deck today. Messages from your person, messages from their higher self. So the first three coming through. It's the most I take. I miss you. Serendipity. I am so sorry. I'm thinking of you. That's all I do all the time. It's a lot of that Six of Cups energy. No, nope, I couldn't get it. That wasn't yours. It's all my fault. Look at that. I mean, this is pretty heavy. I'm not putting blame on anyone. There's a lot here. So what happened? I hope you still love me. It's coming here on top of the Three of Swords on this Page of Cups. I trust that the universe will bring us together. Judgment. Actually, it's going here. Those are the last two. So much regret. Yeah, so much regret. A lot of regret here. There is a lot of regret. Is this someone that you can't, is there a chance, you know? Will you give them a, another chance? Can you? Is there a possibility? What is here? What is within that energy possibly? 
another pentacle, the Hierophant, you know, this, is it just a commitment? I don't think so. I feel like it's something more. And it's internal from your person, but I feel like there's something external as well. When you know, you know the serendipity of how you came together and just how they feel. It's a lot here. Meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I'm forever thankful to the universe for that. Putting this here with temperance, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Okay. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, or song messages, excuse me. Something to say song messages today. And it can be songs that you know, that you've been hearing, that are on your playlist, that connect you to your person or resonate for you. But it can be that you don't know the song, <laughs> you don't like the song, maybe you feel you're sending it, or maybe you just feel like, I, I don't understand that message, then maybe it's not your message. But keep an open mind because there's always a sentiment behind a song. And just as in this reading, there's going to be something here, um, possibly that I won't even know is for you, a name, a location, an artist. As with tarot, something here that, you know, somebody with an infinity tattoo, or you have a skeleton key nearby as you're watching this reading. You know, there's going to be things that um, you'll know that I just won't know. And this is already wanting to show. You've been my soulmate and mentor. I remembered you the moment I met you. Simple together, Alanis Morissette. I'm putting that here, the Six of Cups energy. Yeah, and, and thinking of how to get the, how to do this too here in that Hierophant energy, divine masculine energy. If I was weak, forgive me, but I was terrified. You brushed my eyes with angel wings. Full of love, the kind that makes devils cry. You have been loved, George Michael. That feels like your message times 100. I don't know what's in the stars. Whoa. Never heard it from above. The world isn't ours, but I know what's in my heart. If you ain't mine, I'd be torn apart. Love me now, John Legend. It's going with the star card. Where their energy is the strongest. It's such a wishful energy today. And it's doing a bottoms up. That doesn't always happen with song messages. When I look in your eyes, I can feel butterflies. Could you find a love in me? What am I to you? Nora Jones. If you ever feel you're sending a message to, then you're sending a message. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I, dream I dreamed I held you in my arms. But when I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and cried. You are my sunshine. Johnny Cash. That's Six of Cups energy. I was on the outside when you said, you said you needed me. I was looking on at myself. I was blind. I could not see. You too, I will follow. It's a regret energy. It's all piling up here with the Six of Cups. So I'm just going to have to kind of just put things where I can. Things are going to start being covered. So many tears I've cried. So much pain inside. But baby, it ain't over till it's over. It ain't over till it's over, Lenny Kravitz. You're the nearest thing to heaven. Yes, you are. I have searched for happiness so long and far, but my search for love was through the day that I found you. Because you're the nearest thing to heaven. Yes, you are. You're the nearest thing to heaven, Johnny Cash. Okay, so this is yours and this last one. I'm first going to read, well, yeah, I think take this sinking boat and point it home. We've still got time. Falling slowly, Glenn Hansard and Marquetta Erglova. So it's still a chance to save this, to work things out. The unfulfilled potential that they're very aware of. You can see it. I know that you love me, and soon you will see you were meant for me, and I was meant for you. You were meant for me, Jewel. It's the last song message and message coming down today, Aquarius. We're going to close your reading now. I thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video. Hit that 
like button. I always feel so silly saying it, but really. And subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. It goes without saying you being here today and supporting my work, supporting my channel really means a lot. I love you very much and thank you for that. I'm sending all that love your way, wishing the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading.